So many of you guys know that the diet that you have affects your eczema in a huge way. And what I've noticed is that so many people mess themselves up right away with the eczema breakfast that they're trying to eat on a daily basis. In today's video, I wanna give you guys the best thing to eat for breakfast when you're trying to heal eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. Also, when is the best time to eat your first meal? These little details are super important for healing your gut and healing your eczema and skin health with diet and lifestyle. So one of the ways that you can absolutely wreck your gut health and one of the ways you can slow down the progress of healing eczema is to eat a huge meal first thing in the morning before your body is ready to eat, before your body is ready to digest food, and before your body is ready to assimilate and use the nutrients. So first I'm going to talk about when you should actually eat your first meal and then I'll get to what the best thing to do for breakfast is when you're healing your eczema and healing your gut. So first of all, we gotta understand what the morning in your circadian rhythm is actually used for. It's used for elimination, used for hydration, for starting the body's metabolic systems and to start to move your lymphatic system. When you eat a big, huge meal first thing in the morning, it has a tendency to slow all of those processes down. So having your first big calorie dense meal is better to wait till 10, 11, 12, even one or two in the afternoon will do you much better. By hydrating heavily in the morning and by giving your body a digestional break in the morning from eating food, your gut will have a lot more chance to go through autophagy, cleanse and detox, wake up the organs like your kidneys, your liver, your gallbladder, and basically unleash the demons. Clean out your bowels, get all the poop out, do all the peeing, do the necessary things it needs to do to be cleaned out in the morning. Your body is like your house plumbing system. If you're constantly stuffing food into it, it's gonna get backed up, your digestion is gonna get overworked, and all of the mechanisms that can actually heal your body will not work properly. Also, remember, if you are experiencing skin disease, it means you have a major issue with your gut biome, your lymphatic system, your cleansing organs, your filtration system. Giving the body some time each day to not be eating huge meals is very advantageous. Now, I'm not saying that all of you guys need to adopt intermittent fasting or do dry fasting or anything of that nature, but a lot of times it's a good idea to hold off on your first solid meal breakfast until you are actually super, super ravenous for food and you have already hydrated yourself, you will notice that if you eat this breakfast that I'm about to talk about, you will not be hungry until later in the afternoon because you'll be properly hydrated and your body will have the nutrients it needs to start the process of autophagy, cleansing, detoxification. It wakes you up mentally, it gets your digestion going and it really aids in the liver and the kidneys doing their thing and processing all of the things it needs to do first thing in the morning. Okay, so let's get to exactly what those breakfast foods are. Or is it even a breakfast? So you may have guessed it by now, but the best eczema healing breakfast is not actually a breakfast at all. It's just a series of liquids and elixirs, if you will, that really aid in gut health, digestional health, lymphatic movement, autophagy, waking up the liver, waking up the kidney, and giving yourself plenty of hydration and nutrients that are low calorie and don't take up any digestional energy to fuel your brain and to fuel your life. It doesn't really matter which order you do these drinks, there's only three of them, and I suggest taking your time with each one of them. Enjoy them, drink them slowly, and you can make this last 
all morning long. For me, generally, I'm not having my first meal until about noon, most of the time way after that. So food number one, green tea. You don't have to get too crazy with it. Anything organic is fine. You can do tea bags, you can do caffeine free, you can do green tea with caffeine if you want a little bit of a boost. Also, you can use something like matcha green tea. Ceremonial blends are really, really high end and really awesome. I prefer using matcha, but green tea is a staple breakfast. It works wonders and it does all of these things that I've already talked about. Food number two, celery juice. 16 ounces per day is awesome. Celery juice is absolutely amazing for getting your electrolyte levels and your digestion on point. It's also super hydrating. It interacts with the liver and the kidneys and the whole lymphatic system in a really awesome way. It's a powerful drink. Now, a caveat, you do need to test your celery juice because not all people have an amazing response and reaction to it. If the celery juice doesn't work for you, you can either skip it or do a different green juice. My favorite celery juice replacement is cucumber with any type of green lettuce. And I'm not talking kale, I'm not talking spinach, I'm talking basic lettuce, green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce, romaine. Um, you can also throw in a little bit of cilantro and a tiny bit of ginger and it works really, really awesome. Sometimes I prefer that drink over the celery juice and it's also good, you can mix them up, go back and forth between the cucumber lettuce juice and the celery juice, but some form of either celery juice or green juice in the morning. Now I may have mentioned this already, but the order in which you do these drinks, it really doesn't matter. They're all gonna be awesome. You can do any of them first, any of them second. You can even mix some of them together if that works for you. It's all about hydration. It's all about staying away from food until you're super hungry. And for those of you who have watched my videos in the past and you've kind of learned my methods of healing eczema, you probably already know what the last drink is gonna be. It's turmeric lemonade. It is so simple and it is seriously one of the most amazing elixirs that you can possibly drink for kidney and liver health. The most basic way to do it is to do a tiny half a teaspoon of turmeric, a full teaspoon of turmeric if you want, then just squeeze two full lemons into 32 ounces of water, stir it up, and slowly enjoy that bad boy all day. Generally for me, the way that I do my order is I either do my green tea first or my lemon water first, then the green juice. So as you guys can see, the best breakfast is to not eat breakfast. The best breakfast is to use hydration in these specific drinks to wake up your lymphatic system, give your digestion a break, fuel your brain, and get the healing process and the flushing process, which is what the morning is all about. Hydration and flushing the body, getting the body woken up, getting the metabolism started, and not overstuffing the body with too much food. Okay, so the last part of this eczema healing breakfast is Skinessa. Skinessa is a probiotic. It's the best one for healing your skin. It's the only one I've ever seen that is made for people who are trying to heal their skin. When you take the Skinessa in the morning on an empty stomach with these juices, it creates a powerful gut biome environment. So adding that to your breakfast is essential. I have added a link down below for the Skinessa. So if you guys wanna give it a try, you can pick it up by following the link down below. So as you can see, the best eczema breakfast is to not eat breakfast at all. It's to use liquids like the ones I mentioned in today's video to allow your body to stay in a digestive free zone so that it can stick with its autophagy, so that it can have a digestional break, but get the nutrients and hydration it needs to start your day the right way. I wish you guys a lot of luck in healing your skin. Remember to try your best to enjoy the process. I know it can be long and arduous and confusing, but it is the hero's journey. And the more you allow it to happen, the more you accept the place that you're in and go for growth, not perfection, the easier, more fun, and better you will be at it. So I wish you guys a lot of luck. If you guys have questions, remember to leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, and also hit that notification bell so you know when all of my new videos are coming out. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description for a consultation. Also, you can find the three-phase workbook, which is my step-by-step -step guide for healing the skin at holistichealthactivation.com. It's the same link for the consultation that there is for the workbook. 
Also, a big part of this morning routine is the daily probiotic called Skinessa. I take it every day. I take it with my morning breakfast and it's been doing me really good. I love it. You can find a link for Skinessa down in the description as well. Let's connect on Instagram as well, my friends. I'm putting up a lot of information there. There's a link down below for that, but if you need to find me, it's Stuart Rob Stewart on the Instagram. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart, spelled S-T-U-A-R-T. I'll see you there. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.